I hope everybody's safe. I hope everybody's healthy. I hope everybody's not gone completely bananas uh, in this uh, quarantine uh, lovely period of, uh, of our lives. And I hope that everybody is um, more or less, <laughs> uh, let's just say sane, sane. Insanely sane. Insanely sane. I have like reminiscence of David Bowie or Ziggy Stardust basically. And um, Aladdin Sane. Okay, guys, so uh, what happens is I'm going to talk about uh, the reopening of certain stores. Ha! Huh? So this is really interesting. Uh, yes, she has been shopping because in my area, things are starting to look good again in terms of, uh, well, let's see. I don't know how good they're going to be and how good they're going to look. But for now, um, I've been thinking. Okay, so I've been inside of... My house, locked up, feeling miserable for the past couple of weeks, just thinking, oh my god, life is terrible, life is dreadful. And then I had my ups and downs, I mean, you know. But one thing I've noticed, I ran out of my cleansing scrub, my facial scrub, I've, I've ran out of all of those little pleasures in life that made me happy. You know, things like uh, wearing... Well, perfume, no, because, you know, I'm addicted to perfume. So that's kind of the only thing that zhuzh, zhuzhes my day up and peps up my life. But then I ran out of my, literally, my cleaning foam, soap, stuff like that. And not just to wash the hands because, you know, we're washing our hands like crazy, but also for the face. So when the news hit that uh, my Chanel Beauty Boutique opened up, I was like super thrilled and happy and... Um, I called and I said, is it true? And they are open in limited capacity. So I was like, okay. And then I gave them a list of things I, I was hoping that they still had or that they would get in, whatever. They said they have it. And uh, I'm going to talk to you about this experience because how is the experience, a luxury experience of reopening during this crisis period? So first step. On the phone, they already offered me. They said, Jacob, we can actually um, send it to you. And I was like, oh, but it's such a sunny day. It's so beautiful. I mean, I'll be really careful. Like, let's, you know, I need to walk. I need to move my freaking body after so much time. I need to get into the groove, as Madonna would say. And so I took all the precautions. I, st <laughs> I took my... Um, plastic gloves, I took a little mask, which I did not put on to walk outside because I just needed to breathe some fresh air. I took my disinfectant spray with me. Like I was, you know, armed for it. I was ready for it. But very pleasantly surprised when I arrived to the store. So first of all, there's like, okay, this is the experience. So in case some of you are thinking how it's going to look like, depending on the country you're in, the region you're in, within the country, it can vary. This is just my experience. So I was super thrilled because I arrive and the shop is sealed off. Um, there's a uh, they put like tape in front of the store to separate it. So you have to wait in front of the store. Basically, there's a tape that delines the store. We're talking about whoever's tuning in now, the Chanel Beauty Boutique, because she ran out of moisturizer. Anyway, so I'm there and uh, the security guard, he's inside. He steps outside holding in his hand um, a disinfectant spray and says, would you like to come in? And I and I says, well, yes, I would. And then he says, well, then let me spray your hands and disinfect your hands. I was like, oh, well, thank you, kind sir. F -f -f Sprays, I, you know, clean my hands and hands are in the air. I take one step inside and then he says, now that your hands are clean, can I offer you a mask? Lovely. I says, well, thank you, kind sir. And I get a little box with the, the mask on top, it's a lot of those like paper masks, but you know, the one on top is already slightly lifted. You pick it up because you're already disinfected. You pick it up. He tells you, please put the blue side in the back, blah, blah. You put it on. And he says, can I measure your fever? I'm like, well, thank you. Yes, you can. So, <laughs> so he takes a little pistol thing, shoots me with it. It was kind of funny. We both laughed. 
measures my temperature. Temperature was actually really low. I was like, I'm dead. The temperature that you measured now means that I literally don't have a pulse. How is that possible? <laughs> well, she is a vampire after all. So anyway, temperature is fine. So, you know, I have my mask disinfected and then you enter the Chanel Beauty Boutique. And I was like, I feel safe. Mind you, I'm the only person there. <clears throat> the only potential customer there. So they, you know, they greet me. Everything is good. And I, you know, um, I repeat once again, we were already discussing on the phone, but I told them what I want. And so it was waiting for me. And we're going to do an unboxing, you guys. Oh, my God. I've been missing this so much. <laughs> Being able to do an unboxing, going shopping. And I know this is really limited capacity, meaning I... Again, luxury because it's Chanel, but I needed these products for my freaking face because I am falling apart. So we're going to do an unboxing, you guys, a live unboxing. I haven't done a live unboxing in ages. Ages. I don't even know if I ever did a live unboxing of this scale. This is a haul, actually, because I went a little bit overboard because this mug needs an, an overdo, a redo, a remake, and some remodeling. So... Let's get straight to it, shall we? Um, they perfumed the tissue paper with Paris Biarritz. So look at that gorgeous Chanel tissue paper, which now totally messed up my white balance. Oh, actually, the white balance is much better. Hmm, I wish it would stay that way. <sighs> I've... I don't know. I was like literally these past few days, I don't know. I was washing my face with like leftover samples of whatever I had from products. By the way, this is a 2003 Coco brooch. The space brooch, uh, Bizon space brooch from 2018, 17, 18. And then we got Vivian Westwood and then we got Tina Belcher. And this is 2003 Chanel bracelet. So we got a whole kind of set. I'm ready for this. Hmm. Okay. Um, sh should we do freebies first? Freebies. They know me so well. And they're like, okay, Deco. So <laughs> let's test the eye. I love their little eye creams and their little tiny. So I got two eye creams. The uh, concent Concentré Botanique d'Alfalfa. Botanical alfalfa concentrate. Two little eye creams. These are amazing. Plus, I got the Camellia Repair Mask. Two Camellia Repair Masks. Will it focus? No, it will not. Anyway, we got two Camellia Repair Masks in a little cute little Chanel satchel. See, they give you these little satchels for their samples. Um... This is really good. Then I got some more freebies. Ah, uh, this I got before already. I think it's like a charm. You can't really use it as a bracelet. It's like a bag charm. So it's Chanel Sean's plexiglass cut version of it. I didn't get much more, huh? For the amount I purchased, I didn't get much samples. But they're actually really short on samples. They don't have anything. They only are selling what they have left over. They did not receive a new delivery of anything. Um, so, couple logos, you can make glasses out of these, hi everybody, Chanel Obsessed here, guilty as charged. Now, let's get to the purchases. So, I, uh, for those of you who follow me on my channel, uh, on my YouTube channel, Super Deco Ball Spelled Together, you should, uh, have already by now know that, uh, we have some sad news, the Coco Soap. The soap, the cocoa soap, is being discontinued. Discontinued. And um, and they, they had three in stock, so I bought one more. I didn't buy all three. But I might go back just to get some more because I love this soap so much. And it's discontinued, you guys. What batch code is this? I wonder how long they've had it there. Apparently, it was really not selling. Nobody's buying Chanel soaps anymore. Oh, this is an older batch. It's the 3301. So it's from a year ago. So you can imagine they've been having, they had the soap in their stock for over a year. Nobody bought it. 
Oh, no, another freebie. What am I talking about? I did get another freebie. Okay, so this is a... Uh, wait, let me... I'm not going to tell you what it is. Let's open it together, but... It's a travel pouch. It's a transparent Chanel travel pouch. Really cute. You get a little Chanel logo there on the zipper. It's like a... It's like their makeup cosmetic pouch or whatever. And, uh, and this is for tra traveling, as if we're going to do that now. Uh, it's going to take a while, but goddammit, we will travel again. Of this, I am sure. And you have this transparent little pouch so for when you're in the plane and, you know, you're going through security check and you can, like, put all your perfumes in here and be like, Hi, this is just me, just me with my little pouch. Um, passing by, passing through. So thank you so much, Chanel, for that. So... Uh, where did I put my cocoa soap? Oh, let me show you how it looks like. I mean, you can check out my video of the unboxing of all of these, of the cocoa soap and the ASMR unboxing of the Eau de Parfum and the um, shower gel and the body lotion and the Eau de... I'm kind of repeating myself. And the soap. So in here, this is how it looks like. It has this gorgeous sticker on the back. Coco Chanel, the soap. Oh my God. And I'm high all over again. <laughs> this is, it's just that good. I said this in my video and I can say it here again. This one is not really meant to be used in water. And you can never have enough of these because first of all, my the oldest one I have is over 10 years old and I use it in my, um, in my wardrobe. So, in the foil, it never loses its smell. It keeps its freshness. Over 10 years old, it still smells the same. And all the clothes in there, everything smells so divine. But the second you take the foil off and you put water on this, it doesn't smell like cocoa anymore. You know, when it comes in contact with water, it loses a little bit of its charm and quality. So definitely something to be purchased and had for the rest of your life. Literally, that's how good quality this soap is. In your so it's around twenty five to thirty bucks, and um, it's the it's the best from the from this kind of body beauty range. It's the best investment you can make because it literally never expires, even though here it tells you eighteen months after opening it, it expires eighteen months after opening it. it says there the little eighteen months thing. But guess what? Since we keep the foliage on, technically we never opened it. Just saying. Now let's get to uh, the. Mm, me getting this mug fixed, right? I got the mousse. So the first thing, and a lot of you have been asking me to do a video on um, my beauty routine. Well, reason, one of the reasons I couldn't do it is because I ran out of everything. So the mousse is the cleansing cream to foam. So it is creamy as you mix it with water and you rub it on your face. It does turn into a foam. And um, you can use it in the morning and also in the evening. For my particular face and structure, it's really good, but it's it doesn't have to be for everybody. I'm Don't buy these things blind. Always try them out first. That's what I recommend, at least, you do. Um, this is a big one. It's 150 ml. And this is how how gigantic it is. And I'm used to this type of tube for my uh, cream, the CC cream. I use 20 beige. It has a 50 uh, sun protection factor. I use it every day, no matter if it's sunny or um, rainy outside. I always have 50 sun factor on. That's just me. And, uh, and it's in a tiny tube, you know. And I'll have this like 150 ml version. It's just ginormous. So let's see. I think it's sealed. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to peel this off now because I want to wash my hands yet again before I do so. But gorgeous little, this is the mousse, right? This is for every day. And then because I have been eating more junk food than usual and I have to, you know, I have to, this has to be cleansed a bit better and deeper. I have gone for the full on, um, full on uh, sublimage Le Grand de Vanille. So this is the vanilla grain purifying and radiance revealing seed face scrub. So it's a vanilla seed face scrub. Um, this one is 50 gram. 
gorgeous. I have had a tester of this. So this is batch code 4801. So this is very fresh. We're almost in the 5000s numbers now, you guys. Uh, let's open it up. And uh, let's open it from this side. So you're going to get to see how amazing this looks. Again, I'm not going to really go in into it with my skin because I, with my fingers. Because I do want to wash my hands again. But let's just unbox it and see how good it looks. So I've, I've tried the testers of these. Not the testers, the samples that I was sent by, I don't know, when they released this. I think they released this towards the end of last year. 2019, good memories, good memories. 2019 was a good year, if you think about it, all things considered. Look at how terrible 2020 is. Um, okay, so now when we open it like a that, and then in here we have our little minuscule miniature spatula. That uh, spatula, a little tiny, you could call it a little spoonlet of sorts. Uh, which I'm also going to keep in its foil for now because we want to be really clean when we use this. And you're going to kind of lift a little bit of this uh, liquid that we get inside of the 50 gram package or 50 gram box container. There it is. Now look at this. This is incredible. There you have it. You see that that whole part there? I know it's kind of heavy. It's not really meant for traveling. This is the, the downside to this whole situation with Chanel. When you get these gorgeous creams packaged in a gorgeous way, they're really heavy. These are glass jars. And you're thinking to yourself, how the heck? Well, you, you, you just don't. They're not really meant for that. I mean, this really weighs you down completely. And it's for 50 gram or 50 ml, there's such an huge extensive amount of glass there that you know it's not practical for traveling but it's in extremely voluptuous and oh my god the smell of this first of all it smells like food like they're not kidding when chanel says there's vanilla seeds in here vanilla seed scrub it's vanilla seed scrub it smells like literally like a blend actually a blend of vanilla and poppy it's like poppy seeds and vanilla blended together my my, my nose is not full it's delicious. Um, so if we peel this open, I don't want to, oh, well, I'm not going to touch it. So, oh my gosh, the, look at this, you guys. Oh, yes. Oh, I can't wait to use this. It's food for my skin. And so they're telling me like, Jacob, you know, don't overdo it. <laughs> Just like do it two times a week. And I was like, Girl, I'm going to use this every day until my face is peeled off. Until I feel like I'm good. But I need this so much to like get rid of all that extra fat and everything. I haven't been washing my face properly the way that I should have. And now I have no excuse because the product is here. But after I have washed, what do I do then? Now after that, I have... Um... Okay, so... I have oily skin. Well, oily skin, kind of. But I have to say, it's balanced itself out quite a bit in, in this uh, isolation period. Meaning it's it's toned itself down. It's become less oily because I also lose use less products. Because I leave the house less or not at all. So this means that I uh, literally... Um, um, what would you might call it? I... Totally forgot what I was going to say, because <laughs> I was trying to read a comment. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Somebody remind me, you guys. Um, I said something with this... Uh, ah, yes, because I don't leave the house. So what happens is uh, you don't use all the products that you would usually use when you do leave the house. And the skin kind of replenished itself a little bit because you didn't over-abuse it with all the products. But I'm thinking, and as they say, fight oil with oil. Oily skin remains even more oily if you scrub all the oil off of it. In fact, the uh, vanilla seeds right here, this is, it has a very oily texture. This does not dry you out. This is very, very important. And when I tried the sample in the last year, I was very pleasantly surprised by the fact that after, I've never had a scrub before, that after you've used it, you remain 
moisturized, hydrated, and also the skin feels oily in a healthy way, not dried out. That's what this delivers, right? So to top that off, I got the uh, Le Blanc uh, Healthy Light Creator Oil. So this, just two drops of this, smear it all over the face, massage it into the face, tap it into the face, and let, it ab let the face absorb it. This is my secret because uh, what else another thing that I use is um, retinol a retinol cream uh, high retinol cream but I was told that I can mix this put one drop of this into a little you know nugget size for of the cream that I use blend them together and then put it on my face yes now this is as they call it uh, brightening restoring revitalizing so it is um an illuminating oil. This thing, food for the skin. Because I asked my, my Chanel uh, sales associate, I was like, well, is this going to, uh, let's say I feel really oily one day and I don't want to put the retinol on, right? Can I just put the oil on? Does, the, does this particular oil, because Chanel has several oils for the face, does this particular oil nourish you as well? Does it have nourishing properties as well? Or is it just nice smelling oil for the face and they were like no, no no this one nourishes so technically after you've washed your face you could just put this on they suggest you in particularly to do it at night to put a little bit more of it on really smear your face with it and then go to bed like that and then it's going to illuminate your face the next day so it's going to get absorbed nicely you're less stressed while you sleep i must i must sweat i'm a stress sweater i <laughs> Not a sweater. I sweat when I'm stressed. And that's and I also kind of get more oily. So of course when I sleep at night, I I don't stress I'm not as, as stressed. Depends what I'm dreaming about, but I'm not as stressed. So technically, um I get less oily at night as well. It's bizarre how the body works, but so or how the skin works or how the body works, the face works. So at the end of the day, I wake up in the morning and I'm supposed to be extremely replenished. Let's open it up because we've opened up all the others and see how this looks like. So this is an exclusive to the boutique or to their online shop as well as an exclusive to the Asian market. Uh, Le Blanc series is in general for the Asian market. Look at this oil in there with the frosted glass. I mean, come on, Chanel. Yes. Ugh. I love it. What is less fancy is that they put these security stickers in there. It's so ugly. Um, this oil is really cool. I have had a tester of, the, uh, not a tester again, sample of it, and it worked very well with me. So this is another thing that I did not blind buy. Not, did I? Um, <laughs> I did not blind purchase. So I, I tested it out. I tested all of these out before. So that was my shopping, guys. Any questions? <laughs> oh, this feels so good. You know, going uh, after so many weeks, finally, even though these things are little... Yeah, okay, Chanel, it's luxury. But for my face, necessary. Um, it feels really good. But I was very pleasantly surprised how organized the boutique was and how much service they offer. I mean... You know, even the government doesn't really offer you free masks and here you go into Chanel Boutique and they give you a free freaking mask. They measure your temperature for you. They disinfect you, your hands for you. I thought that was amazing. And Oh yeah, and the cash register. The cash register has uh, a plexiglass wall, like a portable movable plexiglass wall so that when the exchange is happening between you and uh, the cashier, um, of course, by now you already have the mask on that they gave you and the person working there also has a mask on. So you're not spitting on each other. But still, they added that extra, you know, these are the details that I love about luxury. They added that extra touch, that extra something, which is that plexiglass layer between you and the cash register. And then to top it all off, they give you a little tiny disinfectant gel which when you're paying with your card, depending on whether you got a type of code, a number or whatever, so you get a chance to either disinfect the pad for the payment or type in whatever you need to type in and then immediately disinfect yourself again. 
So there's that little added detail as well. I mean, amazing. It was a great experience and it made me feel safe. It made me feel safer to be in the store than to be walking on the street because on the street, nobody's protecting you really. Thank you so much for tuning in, for being so patient, for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little chat that we had. Until next time, I wish you all to stay healthy, safe, think positive as much as you can. And uh, while you're at it and in the mood, watch some uh, Super Deco videos on YouTube. And subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to also click on the notification button because a lot of people forget to do that. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. Super Deco Ball spelled together. I would love to thank my patrons for this help, especially in these hard times right now. Uh, there's a special Mesia series going on on Patreon for you. Uh, Mesia being um, Coco Chanel's best friend. And enemy. Frenemies. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye.